and the sudden changes have uh, made a drastic impact on my life. But they changed it overnight, right? This is youth exploitation. They called us here, now they want us to leave. I'm really worried about my future here uh, in Canada. Now, more than 70,000 students, including several Indians, face deportation scare after Canada tightened the rules for extension of work and study permits. The Liberals are again cutting the number of study permits Canada gives out to international students. Today, Immigration Minister Mark Miller announced the cap will go down by 10% next year, and it will stay at that number for 2026. <laughs> So we have seen in my previous video what are the restrictions that the Canadian government has been imposing on study permits due to which the number of study permit approvals have drastically come down. So what are the other alternatives for students who are aspiring to study abroad? Obviously Canada is not the only destination. There are several other countries where students can go and study. But in terms of settlement, Canada is the best country to come and settle via the student visa route. So as I discussed with you, if not Canada, the next best destination which people opt for is US. In US, if you do two years of master, then you can get a three years of OPT, which means you will be allowed to work for three years in US and people under OPT status have 20,000 H-1B visas quota. If they have past experience, they can also compete in the normal 65,000 H-1B quota also. So there are 85,000 H-1Bs that are issued per year. So students who aspire to go to Canada on a student visa, then after studies, they can come on three years OPT. So they have three years compete to get H-1B in 85 into three. So there is very high probability. But then the only downside of going to the US is you will always be on a temporary resident visa and you are never permanent because you know the green card it is taking more than 20 years for people on H-1B status uh, to be granted. So if you want to wait for 20 years to get a green card then yes but otherwise if you wanted to enjoy the life in the US while you are on temporary resident visa status then you can gladly go for US. The next option to go for is Australia in terms of settlement which comes after Canada but then again Australia also has started to impose a lot of restrictions for PRs and also for people coming on study visa. So if you study for two years in Australia you will get two years work permit and within those two years you should start to become a PR so you have to figure out like, but now getting PR has become difficult but there are so many pathways I will do a separate video about Australian pathways to become PR the third destination you can opt for is UK uh, one beautiful thing about UK and especially for masters is uh, most of the masters courses are one year so even if you study for one year in UK you will get masters which is equivalent to two years in most of the other countries in mas masters in, in India is two years in US it is two years in Canada also it is two years but then in UK most of the courses offer one year master's course which are equivalent to two years master's course so which means you can do master's and you can save one year of time and money and with master's course you will get two years of work permit post study work permit and then but uh, after two years of post study work permit you might not probably get your PR so you may have to come back to your home country or go to another country so that is the downside of going to the UK but if you wanted to exclusively go and study then the next destination after Australia is UK. So if not UK, there are so many European countries where you can study in Germany, in Ireland, Poland, in France, in Italy and most of these European countries offer free education but you also have to learn their native language in that specific country as well but then many people if you miss UK, Australia, Canada and US then you can opt for any of the European countries to study and if you study there you will get two years of work permit to work in that country and then getting PR is also relatively easier in the respective countries than what you face in Australia, US or in UK. So if Canada has a lot of restrictions so it is not the end of the world there are so many other countries where you can study, work and possibly 
settle as well so if you need any assistance to choose which country to go which course to go what are the settlement options after study or what are the work options after study feel free to put a comment in this video and we'll get back to you and then we will have a consultation